Chief of the Highness Fire Department, I welcome all of you this morning, marking the 11th anniversary of the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001, and the loss of nearly 3,000 lives at the World Trade Center, the Pentagon in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. All citizens have been impacted in some way by this event. Certain sights and sounds have been embedded in our minds forever. Most people will always remember where they were and what they were doing when this happened. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask that in your thoughts and prayers this morning to please take a special moment to remember not only those who were killed that day, but pray for all the firefighters, police officers, and men and women in all the branches of the military who continue to serve and protect us each and every day. May we be grateful of the services that they provide, and may we ensure the memories of those we have lost will continue to live on in all of us. They are not and shall not ever be forgotten. Long-standing fire service tradition that uh, we told the bells after the last alarm when firefighter has committed the supreme sacrifice and lost his life, we lay them to rest. We toll the bells five, 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 five. So Lieutenant Rick Knowlton will toll the bells now, and after that, it'll be followed by a moment of silence. Breathe in. the official notification. We received a letter from the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, 225 Park Avenue South, New York, New York, confirming and memorializing the full and complete transfer by the Port Authority to Hyannis Fire Department of that certain piece of steel of the former World Trade Center, identified as G-002M in the World Trade Center Archive, Artifact Inventory Report as of January 31st, 2007, the steel. Hyannis Fire Department requested that the steel be made available to them in its present condition. A property interest in the above described steel was hereby conveyed and full and complete legal ownership of the steel was given. On December 14, 2011, Lieutenant John Cosmo and Master Mechanic Rich Randall, in the very early morning hours, drove up to the Port, New Jersey Port Authority to pick up a piece of steel from Hangar 17. They had to be there at the exact time, and they had to follow the exact specific instructions. They couldn't um, do anything but what they were exactly told to do. They couldn't go in and look around at anything else. and. Uh, they did everything that was requested of them, and they picked up the steel and brought it back that day. After we, the steel was delivered here on that day, uh, with the assistance of one of our own, Lieutenant Bob Hennessy. Uh, Bob, where are you? Right here. I'd like to just call Bob up. Bob uh, took it upon himself to build this beautiful thing to display the steel for us. He had some help with some local tradespeople. Uh, Frank and his crew from Mid Cape Sheet Metal did the metal work for us. And also, Don Beal and Ames, uh, prior to us getting the steel, had donated this beautiful plaque on the front of the display unit, display case. Uh, they donated that to us. And it uh, depicts the uh, World Trade Center, Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and the Pentagon. 
So I'm here with uh, Chief Brunell of the Hyannis Fire Department. It is the 11th anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks. We just finished the ceremony. Chief, tell me a little bit about why it's important to you to hold these ceremonies every year to remember them. Well, I think it's, uh, you know, we don't ever want to forget what happened. We had uh, all the citizens that were killed, and and uh, but we also had so many public servants, you know, the firefighters and the police officers. And, and uh, it affected the country in so many ways. Everybody was effect affected by it. So we don't ever want to forget about it. I try to um, conduct these memorial services so they're not all solemn and and, and that, but we, we want to th remember it, think back, and be reflective about that day. And to me, it actually helps us move forward uh, because we're, we're not dwelling in the past, but we're not forgetting about it, and we're remembering it. And then, uh, but it, like I said at the end, it's a beautiful day today, and uh, we get our support every day from the citizens. You know, they help us every day do our job, even before 9 11, and c certainly after 9 11. And uh, so we need that support from the citizens. We have that bond with the community. And uh, I, I, use, I just think it's a great opportunity to get people together and just share some. Some people want to talk about it. Some people don't, but they just want to come. And uh, it's been a good thing. Absolutely. Tell me about the piece of steel from the World Trade Center. Um, it, it's pretty amazing to have this piece and yeah. really kind of a tangible reminder of what happened that day, a piece of the fallen building. And certainly um, no easy task to get that here. No, absolutely. And the thing was, too, is um, I probably didn't say it clear enough when I was reading my official thing there, but all we knew about the steel was that number that I read. That's all we knew. We knew it was a piece of steel. Then eventually we got some approximate dimensions and approximate size but at first we had no idea what it even was right. or how what what it looked like or what was size it, it was be a large I beam was we, it exactly be a we just the didn't know brick, no idea. yeah and so but we were just thrilled to have a piece of it and uh, and so that again it doesn't matter it it's you know it came from there and and it's just all part of that you know exactly. so, so it's and it, locals came together to build a beautiful yeah, podium sure and display did. area for it. it. Sure so did. will the public be able to come by? And Absolutely, stop by and anytime. And touch it. Anytime. We we try to we try to be very open here with our department, and uh, of course after 9/11, they wanted all the fire and police departments to be on lockdown because they were afraid about many things that would happen. But we try to always keep our doors open and unlocked here during the day, and we invite the public in. And uh, we do things like people come in for blood pressures all the time, or permits, or whatever they need. So we're a very open department, and we want them to come in. And, and uh, like I said, they may just want to stop by and look at it, or they might want to touch it, or whatever. Everybody's different, and we don't want to push it on anybody, but it, it is here. It's beautiful, and uh, would welcome any, anybody from the public to come in and, and uh, take it in. Wonderful. Well, Chief, thank you so much for leading the ceremony today, and thank you for joining us here You're on, on the show. You're very welcome, Sarah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. With Chief Brunell, I'm Sarah Colvin.